I started singing when I was, I can't even remember, probably like three or four. I remember singing with my dad at the piano. Sometimes it was Josh Groban or sometimes it would be like Les Miserables or some music book and he would play for a long time at the piano and all of us would slowly like trickle in and, and come and sing with him. And so you have anywhere from like four to 10 year olds, you know, it's just us like around the piano. I've just always been taught, right? That like, you need like a job that will get you somewhere. Like you're too smart to like not, not do something that's either like uh, more predictable than that or more stable than that. And I've come now, like I've graduated college. I went to college when I was 16. Like I um, can say that I'm smart and I don't want any of it. Like I would, yeah, I would rather sing on the street at this point than have any a job in my major, which sounds like almost so controversial because it's just not what I was taught. This guy I went to high school with, I was in choir with him. He was like one or two grades ahead of me. I talked to him maybe like once or twice in, in high school. He DMs me like years later. And he's like, hey, I've listened to your songs. Have you ever thought about, you know, like, yeah, like posting them places? And I was like, no, like, I love to write them. I just don't know how to do it. And he's like, if you can get to Seattle, I I have like an in at a recording studio. I can get your songs recorded. And I was like, okay, sweet. Wow. And I remember I got there and the guy didn't even, the person recording my songs didn't know this guy I went to high school with. Like, I thought he like worked there, but he just paid for me to record my songs. Oh. Juliet Favero has recorded three EPs or mini albums which are available to the public on Spotify. She hopes to record more songs in the future but doesn't currently have plans to do so. Reporting for BYU-Idaho Scroll, I'm Rachel Burhan.